What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. We're talking about long-term Bitcoin price predictions today. If you like the content, make sure that you hit the like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. That helps me out and pushes me up in the algorithm. We're going to talk about where Bitcoin is going to go sometime around the halving, or let's get into what's the top on Bitcoin right now. And it's a complicated process to try to figure out, but we're going to try as best we can to simplify what it is that could happen. So let's get into it. The first thing that you need to know, total market cap, and here is around the range where the halving is getting ready to happen. And it's going to give or take a couple of days. Around April 27 is what we're looking at right now. The next thing is to recognize when the spike happened on Bitcoin. That is pretty simple here. We're using a daily chart right now. This red line represents the last halving. This over here represents the top. So number of days from the halving until we reached our local top over here. It's about 568 days. Uh, 568 days, 568 days is roughly right here. That day on this chart is right there. All right. All right. So that's November 17 of 2025. So that's the date that we're looking at. Now let's zoom in here just a little bit onto that date and let's get an idea of what that looks like. Now, uh, we're looking at capital inflows right here. Uh, so we're seeing projections of uh, potential places. Uh, this is where we're sitting right now. This is where we're going to be at that point. Now, uh, what I've done is I've taken a parabolic curve and I've added it from the beginning of the first big Bitcoin move to uh, the Bitcoin cycling move to the next Bitcoin cycling move to the projected next area and range. And that's going to get me right here. Now, that puts me at about a $6 trillion market cap. This last Bitcoin cycle saw a $69,000 Bitcoin with a $3 trillion market cycle. Now, with reasonably speaking, the same amount of capital coming into the market and percentages, then you can take uh, 3 trillion uh, and 6 trillion. So basically you're saying doubling. So we're taking a $70,000 Bitcoin and we're turning it into a $140,000 Bitcoin. So on the surface here, we've got $140,000 Bitcoin, but let's take this a step further because there's one thing that doesn't add up and that is Bitcoin spot ETF. Now the spot ETF, the total liquidity in Bitcoin right now, the the projection of total liquidity in the market, it's currently estimated at nine hundred and sixty two million dollars. However, speculation about the level of capital coming into Bitcoin for the first year is about fourteen billion dollars in spot ETF money. Now. That, of course, means there's going to be derivative money coming in. So, uh, But let's, for the sake of argument, look at this from the same perspective that we were looking at before and just decide that if we had $14 billion in liquidity from this area, which is you know roughly, uh, you know, this one might have had about $2 billion in liquidity. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take um, our, our, our $70,000 Bitcoin and we're going to take our $70,000 Bitcoin and we're going to multiply it by seven because we had about half the liquidity right here. We had about $2 billion at this spot. So uh, times seven means $490,000 Bitcoin. So now, uh, this is where it gets interesting. Now we're talking about the price action in the long term. What are we looking at in, in real terms here uh, for the Bitcoin price? Well, now we have to consider uh, the difference between where we think it's going to go and where it could potentially go. And you've got a range here where we're talking about a Bitcoin coming in at 70, we're gonna call it about 140,000. Right here is the $140,000 Bitcoin from our levels over here, right? Uh, so with the influx of this capital, we've created a parabolic move into this range. This is a gigantic differential. So we're talking about the difference between 490,000, roughly a half a million dollar Bitcoin in the next cycle. At a minimum, we're looking at $140,000 Bitcoin. 
And again, I'm not doing anything crazy with my speculation. I'm just taking simple data at this point to give you an idea. The range of Bitcoin, 140,000 in the next cycle estimate, all the way up to half a million just based on the liquidity coming into the market in the first year. Now, does that math play itself out? Well, it's speculative at, at best. But the, the question you asked is, or the question that you're here to answer is, what does it look like? And this is what it looks like. 140000 to 500000 is the upcoming price of Bitcoin in this next bull run, if we're guessing and if we're estimating currently trading at 37,000 today. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know the math is pretty simple, but I wanted to keep it as as, as reasonably simple as I could. Um, I, I wanted to shoot, shoot the, per, the parabolic curve cycle that we're really on, the trajectory that we're on, uh, that that 568 days is what the, the top usually is, range thereabout. Then the, the next piece to that is how many days from where we are will we be? What does that cycle look like? That puts us at about a $6 trillion market cap. Uh, if you want to be conservative, you could say $5 trillion, but it's going to be $6 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin ETF all but assures that there, there will be fresh capital, lots of fresh capital entering the market. So uh, the question has always been and will always continue to be liquidity. And with a lot of liquidity, that means a lot of traffic and a lot of new investment dollars coming in. So, um, you know, it's very simple, uh, but still yet very, very complicated. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of future content. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know that you think I'm crazy. Let me know that you think I'm right. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. Hit the dislike button if you don't like it. Engage with the content. I certainly would appreciate that. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, this is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I am always right. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very, very